Hello everyone, tonight is bedtime and we have to read a story. Yes, because mama we'll didn't, here. because mama didn't. Here, here, here. I'm looking at it. Okay, look here. But when I move, it's turning. It's okay, you look here because if after you watch your video, it's look like it's looking at you. You look here, don't look here because you are looking in the screen. Look here. I'm looking. For example, I'm looking like this. Hello everyone, no, it is story bedtime for I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. You see? Okay. Now, the title of our story is The Sand Fairy. You can hold it up like this. I'll read a bit of that story. Lovely, don't okay. cry baby. Are you hungry? This is a bottle of milky, milky, milky. Lara is already sleeping, so I will put Mert to sleep. Uh, first, I will read him a story. Mert, ayusin mo. Naman, naman, nakakainis. Naman, eh. Sand fairy. The Mart, Mart, just hold it, Mart. I'm reading. The White House was a nice house in the country. Cyril, Robert, and Thea and Jane, and their baby brother, the Lamb, came. You lo you want me to read the story or not? You like? Of then don't disturb me. Don't annoy me. They were very happy about that. The London streets near their home were dirty and not very nice. But here in the country, there was a big green garden with trees and flowers in it around the White House. And you could walk an old, to an old quarry, not far away. There was lots to see and do. Then father went away suddenly on business. And mother left to stay with their grandmother because she was ill. The five children weren't sad. There were servants in the house with them, Cook and Martha. So they felt happy about the whole thing. The morning after mother left, Cyril said, let's go down to the old quarry. We can dig in the sand there. So they went to the quarry. They took the lamb with them to cook. They made a sand castle, but they... Here, look here. No need to look here. You are only like that. They took the lamb with them too. They made a sand castle, but they weren't very interested in it after they finished it. Because there was no sea to come up around it and take it all down. The lamb wanted to eat the sand and cried when the other stopped him. Then they all decided to dig down to Australia. So they dug for a long time. Soon, Cyril, Jane, and Robert felt thirsty and they wanted to have something to drink at home. But Anthea stayed in the hole and dug some more. Suddenly, she cried out, Oh look, there's something down. Here, a little animal. It was alive. And it spoke to me. The other came back and thirstily. What did it say? asked Cyril. It said, go away. Come and help me dig it out. So the, the others got back into the hole and dug too. It was true, there was something under the sand. It was little and it had hair all over it. And it said angrily, go away. Oh my god. But we want to see you, said Robert. Is that a wish? said the thing. Yes, we wish to see you, said Anthea. At once the little animal came out from under the sand. It had a fat body and long thin arms and legs. It had big ears and its eyes could come out of its head and go back in. It's really nice. Let's take it home, I cried Jane. Oh, please, no, said the thing. Don't be afraid, said Anthea. Afraid? Me? laughed the thing. What are you? asked Anthea, 
I'm a sand fairy, say the thing. Don't you know? No, but you look wonderful, said Robert. Mars, ang likot mo, grabe. Oh, sorry, Sobrang sorry, likot. Sorry. Nahihilo na. Kakahilo na yan. No, but you look wonderful, said Robert. The sun fairy was happier at this. Oh, please tell us more about you, cried all the children. Well, I came to live here many thousands of years ago. I can give you... I can give people wishes. <gasps> really? cried the children. Yes, I gave a wish to you some minutes ago, remember? You wish to see me? Ang likot na naman. Oh yes, but can we have a second wish? Yes, but be quick, I'm tired. Of course, this stop when the sun goes down. You look. Right say the children but nobody could think of a good wish just then Anthea thought of something we wish to be really beautiful she said the sun fairy's eyes came far out and its head of its head and its body suddenly went very big then it stopped and went a little again no I can't do it there are lots of you you see it cried can you be happy only one wish for all of you every day Oh, yes, all the children said. Good, said the sand fairy. Then its eyes came out and its body went big again for a minute. After that, its eyes went in and it was little once more. There you are, it said. And now goodbye. See you tomorrow. And it went down under the sand again. And they all looked at the two boys and the, the girl in front of her. They were very beautiful. But who are they? Suddenly, Cyrus said, Is that you, Anthea? It's me, Cyril. Am I beautiful too? I like you better before, said Anthea. Then they went and found their baby brother, the lamb. He wasn't all beautiful. But the youth want him. Next time, we m must put him in our wish too, said Jane. But he didn't know I can't even see the four of them mm. or want to go home with them and he began to cry. After a time he stopped and Jane took him in her arms but to the White House with the others. When they arrived in the front door, Martha opened it opened it. Please take baby, said Jane. And she put the lamp into Martha's open arms. Thank you, said Martha. But where are the others? And who are you? We're us, of course, said Robert. Who's that? answered Martha. Look, Martha, said Cyril. It's us, but we're really beautiful. Can we come in? We're really hungry. It's past dinner time. Then go home to your dinner, said Martha. And she closed the door and, and then their faces. And then... Oh no, what can we do? cried Anthea. They couldn't go to village because they saw Martha go out later to the shops there. They were all really beautiful, it's true, but that's no good when you are really hungry and thirsty. Okay, so we will stop now in page 5. So what did you learn about the story? You are not listening to the story, that's why you never understand what I am reading, you know? You not there was kind. You see, you don't understand. Page 4 said they are kind. Yes, they are kind. Page 5 But what, what, what happened to them? What the sun fairy did to them? Diba? Because you are not listening. Because you are not interested about the story. I'm, I'm interested, but he became into a sad girl. So. <laughs> they became very beautiful because they wish to be beautiful. Now the, Yay, they are now beautiful. Martha and other people in the house they don't they don't know them because their their face is changed and they cannot they are not allowed to go inside. Why? 
because because they are beautiful they are their face is changed they are not usually their faces for example your face is like this it is changed it is different face why and then now they are hungry and thirsty they cannot go inside the house am i beautiful of course you are handsome <laughs> and you're and you're beautiful thank you you're beautiful and i'm handsome because you are my son and you're my mother so you're beautiful why do you have lipstick <laughs> because i will do with you that's why i have lipstick <laughs> because if i don't have lipstick i'm very pale you know? Do you know that? I know, but I'm hungry. You're always hungry if it's bedtime. I know. It was your es- escaping word. Escape good. I want to eat food. Can you tell everyone to goodbye, everyone, and good night? It is midnight now. Bye, everyone. Good night. It's midnight now. Now I'm going to eat me all me food. Bye. Just please subscribe our channel. Please subscribe our channel and then just send in our video. Okay, Mama is YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank bye. You bye. Bye. I'm very proud of my baby. <laughs> Sige, good night na po sa lahat. Dahil si Mart ay matutulog na. Mama and Mart signing out. Bye. I love you guys.